hello everyone welcome to my channel it's ramadan d5 yes so and yeah you're welcome to today's video if you are new here i am fatima and if you're an old subscriber thank you so much for coming back and yes um i later prayed my the whole prayer let me show you a little bit of that i also ate lunch it's around three now so let me show you that activity so yeah and today's menu i think is i don't know about the pudding and i also don't know about the maybe we are going to be making moi moi or akara you will just see in the video but i know we are making um chon shinkafa and vegetable ego so yes that's what i know so i'll update you later if i find out about what we've, we've been making i'm not sure so these are the things that I'm sure of. Yes, so come along. I hope you are going to enjoy today's video. Let's get right into it. But I'll start like cooking, making the rice now because I don't know about the rest. So I'll just make the rice and um, keep it like um, the mashed rice. That's the one sugar one. And then I'll pack it and save it for when we are ready to use it. So let me start with that. I started out by making the fire and adding water to it so that it will boil. Then I moved to reading my Quran while the water was on fire. I finished reading the daily scriptures, then I went to check the water. If you can see, maybe you can spot the water is yellow because of what we cook the previous day inside the water so it was turmeric so i added my plain wash uh, white rice to it turn everything together then i'll cover it and allow it to cook for a very long time like 30 minutes then i went to wash my topsir and relax because <laughs> this topsir is so fun yeah. i'm going now to go and buy the cow skin that's comma or comma whatever or ganda so yes let's go i didn't get what i wanted to buy so i'm just going back home now when i came back i saw the rice was done so i start um using a turning stick to mash it very well you can also use a hand mixer that's what i found out recently you can mix it and turn it into a smooth paste while that was simmering then i blend my peanuts but i can make the peanut drink with mixed with finger millet i strain the milk from the shaft also added some washed rice to it if you can see the milk uh, is not much it's not plenty so it's just only for three people i i added the milk to the fire and cover it so that it will cook i while it was cooking i went to package my tool inside the food warmer as you can see After packaging the two in the food warmer, I went to check on the milk that I was cooking on the fire. That's the plant-based peanut milk. I allowed that to cook. Then I went to visit a neighbor that just had a baby. I went back home to see that um, the milk was done cooking i added some tamarind to it you can choose to add tamarind or lemon or lime juice both will work perfectly for this recipe so you turn everything in i also 
add in while it was um cutting uh, cuddling up i add in this is the finger millet if you don't know what it looks like so this is the powder form just add water to it the powder form is made with some spices that's ginger and some cloves infused with that so you are going to mix the paste in with the peanut milk with the peanut milk until everything start turning thick as you can see just keep turning it don't put off the fire as you can see now it's already thick to the consistency that i want so i went to pray my answer that's the evening prayer and i went back after i finished my prayer i went back to the kitchen to to prepare the dough for the puff puff the nigerian puff puff so in, in a bowl there is flour and there is sugar i also proved the yeast mix um the yeast mixed with flour and sugar with some warm water so that is the foamy thing that i added inside i know I almost everyone knows this so i add in the warm water inside mix everything well to the right consistency the right consistency which you will see in a bit mix everything together to develop the gluten start developing the gluten with your hand you can also use hand mixer for this so this is the right consistency that you want i scrape the spoon cover it with a kitchen towel so that because the place was so warm that's why i kept it there so after some time see how well it has risen so i'm going to fry it inside you're going to fluff off everything first mix it with your hand soak your hand with water or oil then scoop it with your hand and add it to the oil so that it will fry allow it to fry on both sides for at least like um until the other side is brown then you flip it this is the meat that i'm going to start boiling for the soup um i season it with seasoning and some garlic and everything and seasoning so i just add it to the fire so that it will start cooking i pack all the um puff puff in a plate as you can see yes i added more to the oil and later pack everything also as you can see this is everything so i checked on the meat is still cooking then we started prepping the vegetable this is um pumpkin leaves what we call pumpkin leaves i ate that also so i started making the paste these are melon seeds washed melon seed if you can find it where you are added pepper some onions and some garlic and a little bit of water not a little bit um um yeah a little bit of water goes along we will just don't add too much blend everything to a smooth paste in a pan she added red oil so wait today it's my sister i was making the soup she added red oil some onions going to saute it for like um two minutes then added the paste and shoes keep stirring you don't need to keep stirring continuously just allow it to fry this is it she added in crayfish which is optional there are people who don't eat shellfish who keep a strict diet a kosher strict diet but yeah it's just optional she also added some locust beans which is also optional if you don't want to add it this is the meat uh, mixed with fish you can also add just go with one not necessarily both meat and fish mix everything well add in the stock the meat stock add seasonings this this is season that she spray everything inside some spices which i didn't show when she had added it into the soup more water mix everything well together you can also eat this soup with rice if you want so this is the stem of the leaves you can add kale leaves you don't need to add pumpkin leaves this is bitter leaf that she added stir everything in so that it will incorporate well 
and this is the pomo that's the cow skin that i went to buy i didn't find it but they brought it anyways my mom went to the market and brought and buy it so mix everything well together because the pomo was cooked already that's why we add it last minute if it's not cooked you have to add it at the first time when you added the paste of this soup that's the melon seed paste so this is the ogu leaves you mix everything well together and allow it to like uh, cook open without covering it so that you not overcook the vegetables so stir everything in together like for i like, keep stirring for like um maybe two minutes and the soup is done it's about 8 15 something and we just finished cooking oh my god the cooking took like like a very long time to finish it because the soup there was one ingredient that you saw me just i went to buy it and i did not find it so they just went to buy it in the market and it was and it was so late when she came back so yeah i prayed i eat my my dinner let me show you a little bit of both I cleaned the kitchen, then I went and ate my dinner, as you can see. So yeah, and that's a wrap for today's video. Please, if you enjoyed today's video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.